Hello, and welcome to Thimble, a web-based code editor that makes it easy to create and publish your own web pages. Let's begin on the Thimble homepage where we'll remix the KeepCom poster. Remixing creates my own copy of a project that I can edit and customize. So here we are in the Thimble editor with my own version of the poster. Let's take a look around. On the left side is the file tree which shows all the files in this project, the index page, a style sheet, as well as a couple of images, a thimble and a crown. There's also the tutorial.html file, but we'll get to that later. If I want to add additional files to my project, I can do so by clicking this plus icon. Let's go back to the index page. As I make changes in the editor, the preview updates automatically. Because I've created an account and signed in, the changes I make are auto-saved. I don't have to worry about losing work. Thimble helps you learn as you code. I'm pretty sure I know what an H1 tag is, but if I ever forget, I can click on it, then hit Command or Control K to get more help. If I want to find out more, I can follow this link for additional information. Now, let's change the background color. I can do that in the style.css file. Here's a cool tip. When you're editing a color, hit Command or Control E to use a color picker, like this. Purple, all right. Any project that includes a tutorial.html file, like this one, will have a tutorial mode that you can access in the preview window. I can switch between the tutorial and the preview here. This project has instructions I can follow that will help me learn about HTML and CSS. Let's take a look at step number three. It describes how to change the crown image. As I follow along and edit the index file, the tutorial stays open. When I'm finished, I can switch back to the preview to see the effect. Okay, this looks pretty good. I wonder how it would look on a mobile device. I can switch between desktop and mobile previews here. I'm ready to publish and share my poster, but before I do, I want to give it a different name. Okay, now I click the publish button and presto, my project is published and live on the web. I can share this link with my friends and family. Let's take a look. Here's the finished product. You'll notice at the top there is a remix button. This allows me, or anyone else, to create another version of the poster for themselves. And that concludes the tour. Thanks for watching. Click the links in the video to get started with your own project, or visit us on GitHub if you'd like to get involved.